lot of talent in Kentucky, and certainly you got two top ten guys that you can pass to. How fun is that for you as a point guard heading into this setting at summer league? Um, it's a lot of fun because you know the type of guy I am is pass first. So you know when I have guys on the team, score the ball, and you know play good position, it helps me out a lot. How do you approach this situation, bringing yeah, guys well, together quickly? Well, uh, you know, just trying to lead, get everybody to come in as a group. You know, Coach Book is trying to lead us to the right path. And I tell us to come in, work for the team, and everybody have fun doing it. What's, what's been some of the things that kind of get you intrigued? Like, when you're running a set, so, oh, this guy can probably do this pretty well. Uh, you know, Bender, you know, he's so versatile with his outside shooting, inside play. You know, then Marquise with his jumping abilities and then shooting as well. And, you know, you know, Devin, you guys seen what he did last year. You have a lot of great people around, and I can't wait to work with him. Well, what's the key to getting kind of comfortable and learning everyone's tendencies? How do you go about that? I'm just going to practice, you know, trying to learn. Everybody learn each other, talk to each other, and just, you know, try to have fun with it. Uh, don't overthink it, don't overdo it, and, you know, play at your game, play at your pace, and, you know, play as a team. Yeah. Are you going into all this with a chip on your shoulder about being a second-round pick? Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's always like that. <laughs> they always talk about my size, saying I'm too small, so, you know, I come in and try to play my game. Uh, don't do too much. Like I said, stay within me and the team and just play. You're almost happy that they gave you something like that? Or not that uh, you need a lot of motivation. Um, definitely, <laughs> because, you know, I ended up where I wanted to be. You know, I love Coach. Uh, you know, get to play with Devin again and, you know, all these guys from Kentucky who I'm familiar with. You know, I feel like it's going to yeah. help me to be here. Yeah. Coach Bjorkman said that Devin has taken on more leadership role lately. Have you seen that, and, and how does that show itself? Uh, definitely. He talks a lot more than he did at Kentucky as a freshman, but, you know, he's a vet right now for us. You know, even though he's you know, second year in the league, he, he's a vet for us because we're new to this. You know, he knows what to expect, and he's leading us in the right way. Has he out here if you weren't here? What he, what yeah. He, uh, yeah, I think he would. You know, he, he's about the team and getting better. Uh, you know, he, he's had this summer off, and he wants to get in the gym and get better every day. I feel like he would be out here no matter what. How has the transition to Phoenix been for you? Has it been what you expected or been spending a lot of time with Devin? Um, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you came out at the wrong time of year. Really hot. When I first came, it was like 118. Yep. But, you know, that's something you got to get used to. Other than that, you know, I've been with Devin a lot, staying at house, his house and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm pretty comfortable. How much does it mean to you that even though you're a second rounder that they're, they're going to give you a guarantee and treat you like a first rounder? Um, it means a lot to me because, you know, they didn't have to do that, but that's something they did. You know, in confidence with my game, and I feel like I have to you know, step up, you know, earn that spot. I got drafted in the second round. They gave me, you know, first round deal. So, you know, I have to come in ready to play and prove I can do it. So, did you know that going into the pick? Or did, no, I didn't. That, no, that's something that they can do afterwards? Uh, that's something um, that I really haven't talked much about it. But, you know, that's something they did tell me you were trying to get. What about what you guys are doing on offense fits your game well? Um, this is, a, honestly, there's a lot of actions. You know, stuff we did at Kentucky with the type of plays we run. So, you know, with the elbow plays, it's not much different from what we did with the Cal. So, you know, it's nothing really too advanced for me. Some of the, you got a ton of guys who just want to score and try and catch some team, some scout's eye. Do you feel it's it's almost easier for a point guard to stand out because you're, you're able to pass and kind of do something a little bit different from what the majority try? Uh, definitely, because, you know, my game's not coming out here and try to jack up shots. So, you know, I'm trying to do what I need to do. Uh, it's about winning. You know, they're going to recognize if you win. So, you know, if everybody plays their role, uh, does a coach want something to do and, you know, plays with a different team, it would be good. Playing with athletes like Chris and Bender at the big spot, do you feel more comfortable when you push the ball and know that those guys are going to be with you the whole way? Uh, definitely. No, you got guys who can space the floor and guys who are also finishing at the rim. So, you know, you have guys like that playing alongside of me. And I like to pass it. It's a lot easier for my game. It spreads the court out. You said you already felt like this was the right place, but did that affirm it to you when they invest in you like that? Uh, definitely. You know, it shows they have faith in me no matter my size. So I'm just going to come out here and work. Can you talk a little bit more about, about Dragon's game a little bit? Because everyone's kind of wondering, hey, what can this guy do? Was there a moment or a play today where you thought, oh, wow, this is what this guy can do? Uh, yeah, we were doing a big one Jeremy. You know, when he came off the wall screen, it was kind of like, you know, a guard would come off. So, you know, I feel like he has, you know, he can build that. And you know, become a guy who's, what, 7'2", mm -hmm. uh, coming off wall screen, stuff like that, shoot threes, pull up jumpers. And I feel like he's going to be a special player. Yeah, have you talk to the training staff here about what you want to do body-wise or like, do, do you feel like you have to become stronger? Um, no, you know, we just, I know I need to be strong. I know I need to lift weights, but, you know, despite my size, I'm not, I'm not weak. You know, I played on the, the highest level of college basketball. I played with these guys before. You know, at Kentucky, a lot of guys come pros coming back playing with us. So, you know, I'm not as weak as everyone thinks, but, you know, I'm just going to work on my body. I'm uh, just stronger, more flexible, and, you know, being low weight. Do you look like at a guy like Isaiah Tommy, it looks like he's kind of compensated for the size by getting lower body strength to handle. Uh, yeah, but you got to understand that's how he was built. You know, he, 
he's been like that. So, you know, that's not me. I'm more lean. I'm not going to put on a ton of weight, but I'm going to put on some. And you know, it's, just, it's about getting stronger. Dragon's game similar to Trey Lyles at all, or is it different? Uh, it's different. Trey, Trey's a lot bigger, a lot more physical, and, you know, he, he, he posts up a lot more. But, you know, Dragon, he can stretch the floor out and, you know, shoot the ball. He can play multiple positions like Trey. Do you feel a bond with those smaller players like Kay Felder got drafted this year as well? Uh, definitely it's great for you know us to stay together. You know, small guys getting drafted. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a dream come true for all of us because yes. everyone says we can't make it. And you know what Isaiah Thomas is doing, you know, at this level, it was great for us. He became an all-star and it shows you little guys can play at this level. Do you think the three-point shot will remain part of your game at this level? Uh, I would hope so. You know, it has to. Uh, you know, because as a smaller guard, guard in general, the game's expanding to the three-point line. A lot of guys shooting threes, trying to you know, become better shooters, so that's something I'm working on.